Vocês já chegaram a ver o Red Bull Strator? Cara, isso daqui é uma viagem. Era uma cápsula que o cara foi saltar dessa cápsula. E ela está aqui atrás de mim, olha. Em cima dessa cápsula tinha um balão de hélio que ia erguendo ela lá pra cima. E o cara saltou ali de dentro, com algumas diferenças. Ele usava uma roupa pressurizada e a queda livre dele foi de mais de 4 minutos. E por que tudo isso? Pelo simples motivo de... Ele subiu a mais de 120 mil pés. Colocou o pezinho dele aqui nessa beirada ó, e saltou. That's the balloon that will lift him aloft, the biggest balloon ever used for a manned flight. The pressurized capsule in which Baumgartner will ride up, suspended below the balloon, he's inside that capsule, and from which he'll make his historic jump. There's Baumgartner inside, waiting, anticipating. Now here we go, there's the bubble rising. Crane on the move now to get that line straight, right underneath the bubble of the balloon. There's the release. And there's the applause, a successful ride. So this, as I say, is well above the normal limit for skydiving without oxygen. And in unpressurized planes, pilots and passengers have got to have oxygen masks. This is Mission Control. Felix and Australia's capsule is currently at an altitude of 20,900 feet. So far, Mission Control shows all systems are green and go. Felix is ascending at an average rate of 1,000 feet per minute. And we calculate time on target to float altitude is approximately 120 minutes. This mission control out. The air is so thin up there, and there's been a lot of debate about what the effect would be of a human body breaking the speed of sound. So we're up in the area now where passenger jets fly, but not today right here in this area because the Federal Aviation Administration is present in the mission control here, making sure to keep the skies clear all around here. We're up now where people who have been that high say that you can begin to see the curvature of the earth and the black of the sky in the high altitude looking straight up. We're up in the area now where the highest flying aircraft, like the spy plane, the SR-71, the Blackbird, the area that they operate at. So we're about as high as airplanes will go as they climb. There's a minor issue reported with his faceplate heater, which they're troubleshooting. The face visor has 111 tiny wires to prevent fogging and icing. Okay, we're getting serious now, Felix. Item 21, use the duct valve, depressurize the capsule to 40,000 feet, and confirm a pressure suit inflation. Let me know when it inflates. The door will open when you reach ambient altitude of 128,000 feet. And right now you're about 100,000 feet. So you got about 28,000 feet more to go. Just keep dumping the pressure and the door will open. What one hopes against is a In the cave, about 112,000 feet now, Felix. A fast spin. And 127.9. Or tumble. Put the dump valve all the way to the rear. There it is. There's the world out there. The Roll door has 25. opened. Roll the door open. The and door has the opened. Door stop, Felix. Release seat belt. All right, stand up on the exterior step. Keep your head down, and our guardian angel will take care of you. I'm doing it now. Release the helmet tie-down strap.
See if you can get a respiratory count. Speed 546. We've been falling 25 seconds. Speed 600 miles per hour. 650 miles per hour. Speed 700. Marker. Damn it, you calling me? Can anybody understand him? One minute, one minute free fall. I have been following speed for a long time. Sounds like I had to pass out. seconds and stable as a rock. Two minutes into free fall. Uh, oh yeah. You look you're really stable and you fall in three and a half minutes. Four minutes free fall. I'm uh, pulling my dog And we had a good shoot on Felix at uh, 8,000 feet. That was really tough. Felix, we're so proud of you. You did absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I couldn't have done any better myself. Feel that go. Great going, Felix. Great going, buddy. O nome dele era Félix, ele é um austríaco e ele entrou para o Guinness Book porque foi o primeiro homem que ultrapassou a barreira do som sem nenhum equipamento é, de propus, é, propulsor né, nele, tipo, só ele e a roupa e ultrapassou a barreira do som. Se eu não me engano ele chegou a Mach 1.27, alguma coisa assim. Essa era a roupa dele, ó. Louco, né? <risos>